Hey guys, welcome back to Dog Six Studios. Today in the studio, Tiny Epic Dungeons. Yep, we're gonna hit them up again. I got two models going this round. Uh, I'm doing the, the Human Wizard or Ancient Wizard, uh, Jaren the Blue, and then we're gonna do uh, the Psionic. What's her name? Clotho or Clotho. Interesting. Anyway, I'm doing some simple techniques with these guys. Uh, it's gonna get a little tough on some of the on some of the trim and the pinstripe, but you know it's nothing we can't handle. Take our time and, and, and go from there, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. All right, let's get these paint guys painted up. All right. All right, guys, we're back again with Tiny Epic Dungeons. This time we are doing what we got here. Here we go. Oh. Wrong one. Jaren the Blue, Ancient Wizard. All right. Well, first we're gonna paint him up with a little bit of this, uh, this, what is this, Achelian Green, which is actually a blue. We're gonna paint that on all of his stuff except for the trim and his beard and the book, obviously. So uh, let's get that on there. There we go. Using some contrast paints. These are terrific for capes and stuff like that. Real simple. Being a little careful here. Little careful. I want it to be smooth right now. It's a nice color. It'll come out and get some nice, nice blue highlights on that. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that blue. It's one of my favorite blues out of the contrast line. And it's actually, they call it a green, which right, is wild. We, go. we got one coat of the, uh, pop that down. One coat of the Achillean green. I love this color. This is one of the better contrast colors they have. Really great pigment content. It, it's, it just, it, it lays down its color. All right, let's let that dry. We went ahead and did two coats. We'll let that dry, and then we will start the gold yellow trim around his, let's see what we have. We have his belt here, and then we're gonna move to, he's got these little deals, where are they? You can see them in the photo. Right here, we gotta get all this little trim here. All this gold trim, which is a little hard, not, not, is well defined on this model but we'll we'll get it there and we'll go from there that yellow and blue is going to look really good together all right let's let that dry and then we'll get the yellow we're going to throw the base down for what's her name here clotho clotho human psionic uh we're going to do the blue we're going to do the same blue that we did on the wizard right here on her on her uh tunic that'll look pretty good that's a nice blue same kind of gold trim all right so let's get that in there Right there, same thing we did on the wizard. Nice and nice and easy. You can go over those those edges. We're just gonna go back over with the yellow, but I'm trying to just miss them so that white will stand through a little bit and, and look a little nicer, look a little cleaner. But uh, that's about it right there. Just small little touch-ups. Small little touch-ups. Small things are hard to get. Be precise with this contrast paint because it's so, wants to go in the crevice. You gotta be a little careful. Isn't that pretty simple? Anything there? Nope, that's all blue. All right. Looks a little rough, but it'll turn out. There we go, we got both base coats for the cloak on the wizard, or the robe, and the tunic on the psionic. 
Those are going to look really nice once we start highlighting them up. Real simple stuff, guys. We're just we're just throwing that contrast paint on. Let the contrast paint do all the work. Or actually, let that zenithal and the contrast paint do your work for you. If you want other areas to pop a little bit by the edges, we can highlight. Or you can even go back with with the airbrush or even just a white paint and touch up little areas, and then go back over again with a light glaze of that uh, contrast. What was it? A zithian. Achelium green. Yeah, I keep getting that. But anyway, yeah, there we go. We will move on to. Um, I'm thinking either the white or the gold. All right, let's, let's do grab it. this uh, back part of this little tunic here with this purple. I'm using acrylic ink. Actually, it's. Gotta be careful with this ink when you're doing this. Be very careful. You don't want to get this, especially because I've got to paint the rest of that tunic white. And I want this to stand out. There we go. Nice and easy. It's not hard, just gotta be careful. Go a little slow on this process here. We got that purple part of the, or violet, or what did we use here? I ended up using uh, the Liquitex acrylic ink, and this color is, Where's the magenta? Right there. All right, let's get that gold trim. So next we're gonna do the trim all on the gold, all the way around, yellow. We're gonna do that on both models, actually. So we'll just get through into that. First, we'll start off with yellow. I start with this Averland Sunset uh, on the trim, and then I will come back with some flanks yellow, you, you know the drill, maybe even some of uh, this, what is this, uh, Lilith yellow, real light yellow, and then also I will cap it off with uh, with some white. These guys got some magical stuff going on, especially on their cards, check them out. I mean, she's all lit up, and he's all lit up. So, we're gonna try and, we're gonna try and incorporate all of that into these the best we can once we, come on focus, there we go, once we get in there. All right, so let's start with the Averland Sunset. Okay. Gotta be a little careful here. Um, I mean, we could go back and touch it up with the blue later, but for now, let's just be very careful with where we go with this. Wet your paint to where it's, it, it's mostly the water, and you're just gonna, it almost makes it like a shade, in a way. It lays down like a shade, which is much easier to control. So, for now, we'll just go with that, and then later we can come back and touch up the edges. Even, I believe his gauntlet, or yeah, it's gold as well, or yellow. Switch it over. Just be careful. Take your time here. Gotta be real careful here, guys. This. Let's get a little hairy. This is some. These these models are really tiny. I've watched a few videos of the other guys that have done the wizard and, and a few of the other guys. They they do such a great job. Um, but but they they even talk about how you know how how small they are. It's it's. It's pretty, pretty insane. Stay in focus. So I just gotta take light passes. Real slow, real take your time. Get a, get a sharp one. This, this is, this, this is actually getting a little dull for me, my taste. Um, I need to get another one. All right, stand by. Real tiny. Get in frame here. All right. Again, we gotta be real careful here. These are extremely small lines. Mercy. Real gentle, real careful. 
I mean, you can always go back and make, you know, make, you know, touch up your mistakes, but if you can just be careful the first go around, shoot, go for it. Much easier. All right, I did the trim. I did a lot of that off camera. That was a little tough, but you know, take your time. You can do that. Just be real still with your brush and you're going to have to do it again with the next yellow and a white as well. So, but not as much like this. It's more just touch up from here, but that looks pretty good. Just clean, you know, darker yellow and then we'll go over the bright yellow. Take your time. So for the white on these guys, uh, I like to start off with the Apothecary White from the Contrast Citadel. This stuff gets a real nice dark white, you know, a dirty white, and they come over with pure white, you know, or, or start with ivory and then come out to pure white. It, it looks really nice. It gives it a real bright effect. So we're going to do that with the beard, uh, probably the book, uh, the book pages anyway, and then we on the, the, the psionic or the psychic, whatever. What is she? Sonic, Sonic, yep. We will do the dress, the hair, and the hands uh, in the apothecary white. Just give it a, a simple coat. All right, let's do that. Nice and liberal with this first coat. Just gonna give it a little bit of a gray look. All right, see? Takes that pure white away, at least from the primer. Uh, I've done the whole just leave the primer, highlight the primer. It works really well, but I think this apothecary white just gives a little more depth and, and come back out to white. It, it gives it a little more depth. I, I like it a little better. See, here's a little more, you know, and then we'll come over that with white, the highlights. That'll look really good. Right there, yep. Looks good. We're gonna do her hair and then we'll highlight it with some, some type of really washed out blue paint or wash even. But uh, this will give it a nice little base. All right. All right, we're using yellow flanks now to do some highlighting. Right there. Trying to stick to the edges. Just give it a little bit of highlight. Hey guys, I want to stop for a second. Check it out. Dog Six Studio hat. We're going to be doing a giveaway next month, so stay tuned for that. All right, Flank let's get back to the video. Highlighted there. There we go. Flanks yellow over Avalon Sunset. Give a little, little, little pop there. That looks really nice. And now we will go back in and do a little touch of white, but we'll do that later. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move in and work on that blue cloak and start highlighting that cloak. And then we will come back and highlight everything that is white with on that uh, apothecary white. So let's get to the blue robe first and then we'll knock, start knocking out the, uh, the apothecary white highlights.
do a little experiment here. I'm gonna take some of this contrast, a Kellyan green, and I'm gonna mix it with just a little bit of this magic blue, this Vallejo. So I'm gonna mix these two different types of colors together and see what I come up with for kind of a mid-tone. So let's give that a shot. So we'll take some of that contrast and then I will put some blue over there. And now we will take that and mix that a little bit. Look at that. Look at that little, look at that nice mid-tone. Huh? Look at that. That's not too bad. I went ahead and did that, that mixture of the, uh, the agrilin and the blue. I went ahead and just kind of coated it here and there. I did it in the recesses a little bit. Give a little deeper blue, but th that's okay. We're gonna come back and highlight it now with just a little bit of mixed in the blue. I'm gonna come over here, just tip this stuff. Kind of give it that blue back, you know? Well, let's get a little bit of this uh, electric, I believe it's electric blue in the mix uh, with the uh, magic blue and we will do the tips and highlight him. All right. Okay, we went ahead and went in, uh, mixed uh, some of this electric blue in. Zoom out a little bit there. Get this electric blue in there. Start making things pop a little bit. Looking good. All right. Get those blues in there. Looking good. Nice tip. some super highlights here. Just some little white stuff. Just a little bit. You don't want to overdo this, which I tend to do a lot. Huge difference, look at that. Just a little spot of white, see? See the back? And then turn it over where it's got that white highlight, pow. For the sound, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and do, we're not gonna do the uh, the contrast paint. I think we'll just go straight with the blue. Uh, give her, just kind of give her a different little, little bit of a different look. So we'll use straight magic blue and, and give a little, give some highlights. Tough to see. 
tough to see. Gotta watch that yellow. Watch that yellow. Wow, that's kind of a, that's a deep blue with that mixed together. I like it. Real careful here. We're not gonna go too far with this blue. We're gonna come right back to, we're gonna mix it with some electric blue and be done. See, that's a nice little simple blue. I like it. Straight electric blue. Just gonna give a dot in that section that I've already done. Just on top. Boom, boom. Right there, little dot there. Same right here, dot. I'm gonna give it a dot on the top, just to give a little highlight. And then we will just kinda, a little strip here, and a little strip there. That's it. That blue is gonna be done, we're gonna call that done. Looks good. Oh wait, I take that back. We're gonna do a little bit of white. Let's do that now. Add a little bit of white. Give that a little zing. I was a little zealous there, a little ahead of myself. All right, let's get this white on there. This is really gonna help. Okay, here we go. Real just tiny. The dot right in the center of them. Wherever's going on, right there. Right there. Turn her over, get a little piece there, a little on the shoulder, shoulder pads, maybe a little piece right there, and then again, right here on the top, just a little sliver, right there, just like that. See that? So, there we go, that blue is nice and poppy, poppy, there we go. All right, now we can move on to the uh, the white highlights. Her skirt, his beard, her hair, her hands, things like that. Gonna use a little bit of uh, wood for the staff on the wizard here. Just gonna paint it here, here, and then I haven't decided what I'm gonna do the coils here. I'm not sure, are those magical? They don't even really have those on there, so we'll figure that out. I may incorporate that into the, the magic blue of the staff. We'll see, but anyway, we're gonna use brown. Brown, or not brown, wood. There we go. And I would like to do the same on the back. Touch some of these guys up. Let's get those hands. For the last part here, we're gonna use a secret weapon green, uh, which is gonna give me a glow for the blue, for the lightning for him, and for her hair, uh, which is actually, it's a little bit darker of a blue. I may go with a, a, a Draken off blue. We'll see with that for a different shade. But for, for the wizard, for sure, we're definitely gonna go with this with this green suit here for the lightning and the book and everything to give it in the, in the, in the crevices and stuff. All right. So let's do that. Right, let's do this book. So we're gonna do some very watered down Dragon uh, uh, Citadel shade on the hair because it's more of a blue. Yeah, that's good. Look at that.
water down drop for the highlight off. on the uh, on that purple part of the, the tunic, we're gonna use Warlord Purple, and I'm gonna mix it with white, and I'm gonna do just around the edges a little bit, and I may even do a little pure white. It's almost the same color. Pretty much is. Mix a little white in there. A little bit of white with the warm over purple. There we go. Let's touch this book up a little bit. on there get this glue on there real quick fast drying glue perfect all right I think we're good let's dip it in right here I'm gonna go there I'm gonna keep it above I don't want to get it too dirty with the with the black as always, ultra matte varnish. Give them a spray. Quick one to her. Now, there you can be. There we go. Let those dry. Well, there we go guys, Tiny Epic Dungeons. Uh, we painted up two models. Somewhere in my head, I, when I was making this video this week, I, I thought that this video would be a little shorter because they were they had a lot of white and this and that in them, but I was wrong. And the video took a, it's a little longer than usual, but uh, anyway, we got them knocked out. Two for the price of one, right? Uh, we did some simple techniques on them. Um, the trim got a little tough. Uh, had to do off camera, uh, but I took my time, but I got it knocked out. Uh, the wizard looks terrific. Uh, we did that that contrast paint. Really makes cloth and clothes, cloaks and, and, and stuff look really, really good. And they come over with the highlight on top of that. Uh, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. Oh, also, stay tuned. Next month, we're going to do a giveaway of a Dog6 Studio hat. So stay tuned for that. Also, check this out. Next week, I'm thinking about doing squigs, um, but I'm not quite sure what color I want to do, the orcs or the squigs, so leave a comment below. Let's, let's do something fun. You know, grays, blacks, blues, purple, uh, you know, what's the sky's the limit? Just leave a comment below and we'll, we'll knock that out. Guys, again, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.